Hello everyone. Well, it's that time of year. The, the festival of the maiden is ending at drawing to a close. And it should have ended yesterday but because I started festival of the maiden a day late. Um, I'm ex I extended it to today. Um, and so this is the end of the festival of the maiden. Um, take, take a ritual, ritual bath and, um, maybe a bubble bath in your, your, uh, bathroom with, with candles and incense and lighting up. <laughs> well, maybe not incense. Incense can be dangerous. I could start a fire, but, uh, maybe candles if, if you're okay with candles and, uh, maybe some, some, uh, you know, like, like, uh, Epsom salts that are, have some, have some scent to them, scented Epsom salts. Um, so that, that could really, really, uh, be a great way to close out the Festival of the Maiden is with a, with a nice, nice ritual bath. Maybe use one of those bath bombs. You throw the bath bomb into the tub and run the water and, it's all sudsy and and uh, relaxing, and there's quite a few bath bombs available. And they have a nice odor to them. They have a nice scent. Um, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do for the end of the festival of the maiden, you can do. But uh, the ritual bath is really recommended. And um, so. What can we take away from the Festival of the Maiden this year? Well, I, I have a story. Uh, it's not about the maiden. It's not about the maiden, but it is about a youth. Um, there was this... Um, he, 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 was, he was autistic, and um, he was 16 years old, and he went missing. They just found him. They just found the missing 16-year-old boy. He's 19 now. So he was missing for three years. Three years. And this autistic boy that they found that had been missing for three years, now he's an autistic young man. He's a man now. And they found him sitting on a curb in front of a convenience store. And you wonder to yourself, um... How did this happen? How did he go missing? How did he go missing? Who took him in? And where was he living all this time? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what happened to the autistic young man or where he was living or where he was staying. But now he's found and um, they had him in maybe some sort of a facility. They found he, he was living in California and they found him in Utah. So hundreds of miles away from home. He must have gotten a ride some, somewhere along the line. Somebody had to be taking care of him. And so we're, we're happy for the young man with, with autism that, he, that he's safe. Wish we knew who took him. Um, he was kidnapped. Because, you know, autistic people, they can't, they can't necessarily talk and they can't fend for themselves so they had he had to have somebody taken but um it's a lost and found story which is a nice uh segue into the festival of the maiden um we are the maiden we're we're the maiden's children we're the children of the maiden goddess and the maiden goddess is a child also so we're the children of Maiden Goddess. We're her playmates. We're children too, and she's a child, and we're children. So we're her playmates, and um, Maiden Goddess says, "You are lost, but come to me, and you will be found." That's it's like they they say in the Bible, "You they I was lost, but now I'm found." Oh yeah, that's Amazing Grace, right? Amazing Grace, lost and found. But if you come back to the maiden, 
the maiden has wonderful things in store for you. Wonderful things. What wonderful things does she have in store for you? Um, games. <laughs> you can play games and uh, if you like games, if you like games, the maiden goddess has games for you to play. And um, wonderful paradise to be happy in. And uh, good things to eat if you like eating. <laughs> but, um, yeah, un united with your loved ones and that have passed on. And uh, good things in store for you. Good things in store if, you're, if you come back to the Maiden Goddess. Maiden Goddess misses you. Maiden Goddess wants to see you. So if you believe in Maiden Goddess... You can return to the Maiden Goddess. You can return to her and be reunited with the Maiden Goddess. And um, wonderful, wonderful rewards are in store for those who return to the Maiden Goddess. She's got her own paradise just for people who believe in her and the Maiden Goddess. And... Um, people who want, who want to live with Maiden Goddess, people who want to be near Maiden Goddess and, um, you know, 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 uh, know their, their creator is, um, there for them and will care for them. And also um, become like a child and play with them. That they can become like children and play with the maiden goddess. You know, <laughs> I guess it's like recess. <laughs> you remember recess as a kid where you would go outside once a day and run around and play on your teeter-totter. And We don't like the teeter-totter, we like the swings. <laughs> we don't like teeter totters. <coughs> <coughs> we like the swings instead. But um, <coughs> I'm losing my voice here. <laughs> um, yeah, the maiden goddess. She just wants you to <coughs> return to her and. And love and honor and cherish the goddess in all her forms, maiden, mother, and crone. And she's got something for everyone. Everyone has something to look forward to when they're reunited with the goddess. And the maiden goddess um, cares for little children and is like a little child herself. She's, she's a, she's a child that loves and cares for children. So, <clears throat> this festival of the maiden, um, do something nice for the children in your lives if you have children, or a niece or nephew if you're an aunt or uncle. Do something nice for a child. Maybe get, donate to a children's charity. Maybe that's what you can do. And um, just honor the maiden goddess and care for maiden goddess. And she'll, she'll care for you, too. She'll care for you, too. So this, this miracle for the festival of the maiden, this this autistic boy that was found who was missing. Um, I think that says a lot about, about what it will be like to be reunited with, with the maiden goddess when you were missing and missing her and now you're back home again with her and found. And so people think you know, um, 
I know there's some of them you out there are going to say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. It's so cliche. It's so cliche. We always hear Jesus is Lord, but really, maiden goddess fills the the void left by Jesus. The maiden goddess fills the void left by him because he was just a man, whereas the maiden goddess is the creator. She's the creator. So she fills the void. She fills the loneliness that's left over by the legacy of Jesus. She's the one. She is the one and only creator. And I know it because she spoke to me. So long ago she she uh, put her rainbow in the sky. She spoke to my inner mind. And I could see her and she spoke to me. And she told me a few things. Maiden goddess told, you know, she, she told me a few things and, um, one of them was to do what I want to do. <laughs> do whatever you want, my blessed child. She, she said that to me and, um, we're, we're her children. She's, she is the maiden, the mother, and the crone, and we're all her children. So, um, maiden goddess, maiden goddess watching over us, maiden goddess protecting us on this day, and wishing, longing for the return of her children to paradise where she can care for them. And one thing we can do for maiden goddess is to pray to her, pray to the main goddess, and ask her to make us pure of spirit. Because the maiden goddess is pure of spirit, we want to be made pure of spirit too so that we're prepared to meet the maiden goddess. So we can ask every single day to be purified a little bit more, a little bit more, Cle cleansing our souls of, of dirt and debris, and then We'll be ready for her. We'll be ready for uh, the maiden goddess. And we'll be ready to, to love her and to worship her and to live in her presence. And a lot of you would, ooh, ooh, uh, worship is a dirty word. Worship is a dirty word. Don't worship. But there's a human need to worship. Some people don't feel that need as strongly as others, but the need is there. The need is there to worship. And the wor what we worship, some people worship things of man. They worship uh, money, and they worship cars, and they worship athletes, and they worship movie stars. They just don't know it. They don't know they're worshiping these things, but they really are. They really are. That's where their worship is going. And they don't want to worship a goddess. But goddess gave us the inborn ability to worship. And that inborn ability to worship gets applied to whatever it is the person admires most. But if they admire the goddess, then the goddess gets worshiped. But if, if they don't admire her and don't care for her, she doesn't get the worship that, that she deserves. The goddess is wonderful. She's wonderful. She deserves all of our worship because she made all these wonderful things we see on earth. All the wonderful things. All the wonderful things on earth she created. Them. She made all, all that we see. Everything. Everything. And it's just amazing. It's just amazing to me that she made all of these things and is worthy of worship and worthy of our respect.
but I don't know why people don't want to worship her. Probably because they think they sprang out of nothing in it. It's just a spontaneous um, appearance of human life and human intellect. They think that, that once the biological organism is dead, they'll be dead also. So they don't see any need to worship. They, they don't believe in worshiping. There's, there's some people who are opposed to worship. They think it's a form of human slavery and they don't want to worship. But they go and worship other things that they like. Worship Easter eggs and they worship, <laughs> they worship Easter eggs. They worship uh, football players. They worship um, their friends. And uh, they don't like their families too much, but they worship their friends. And they worship uh, movie stars, celebrities. They worship Paris Hilton. <laughs> and, and so they don't worship the goddess. They don't believe in worshiping the goddess, even though they're worshiping all these other things. They don't want to admit that it's worship. They don't want to admit it. Worship is a dirty word. They don't want to admit that they worship these things. But goddess, goddess uh, is patient. Goddess is patient. Goddess is kind. And she will eventually have you back. Yes, she will. She will have you back. Because um, you can't avoid worshiping her forever. Sometime when you're in her presence and see how wonderful she can be. So how wonderful and how amazing she is. Then you'll be, be worshiping her naturally or constantly. But all the people here on earth are here because they did not want to have any part of goddess. Not just not worshiping her but really denying her. So that's it. Um, goddess wanting us back, calling to us to come back to her. Can you hear her call? Can you hear her call asking you to come and worship her and, and to live in her presence and to dedicate yourself and your life to to the worship of her, to the worship of the goddess. The goddess is one, and um, the Hindus worship her in many forms, but goddess is one, that is the ultimate reality, is the oneness of goddess. And of course in the West, um, Western goddess worshipers worship maiden, mother, and crone, but they're all one. See, they're all one maiden, mother, and crone are as one, one goddess. And of course, there's Maleficent goddess, which I haven't mentioned so far, but that's a part of goddess too. It's a part of goddess too, and Maleficent is only one part of goddess. There's also the great good goddess, and the great good goddess is the one that wants us back so badly and is worthy of our worship as the great good goddess. She wants us to give her all of our worship, all, and to honor all of her parts. So we need to worship the goddess. And um, what better time than the Festival of the Maiden? So do something nice for a child, this Festival of the Maiden. If you have children, um, Obviously, feed them dinner and sp spend a little extra time with them. Uh, maybe read them a book or or uh, take an interest in their day at school. And um, remember, remember the maiden goddess on this day. Remember her, and maybe give to a children's charity if you're so inclined. If you have have any money to give, and I'll see you next time.